Water is a, a unique substance. Um, there is no substitute. Everybody needs it. And in many of the developing parts of the world, there's simply not enough of it. And what they do have is very dirty and can make you sick, can, can even kill you. When we approached this project, we made it from a, a pilot project perspective. We knew we wanted to do rainwater, and there's a lot of different designs out there. But we wanted to investigate two, two of the most feasible options we had. One was an in-ground tank, and the other was an above-ground tank. The in-ground tank, um, we started by digging a hole, and then we proceeded to cover the inside of that hole with a chicken wire. And then layer by layer could apply a very fine cement mortar mix. Uh, let one layer harden, apply another layer, and build that out until we get a total water th uh, wall thickness of approximately three to four inches. With the in-ground portion of the tank cured and dried, we were able to set uh, large wood boards over the top of it, so that on top of the wood boards, with this very large uh, bag constructed out of smaller bags, using the materials that are in country and that are rel relatively available, uh, we took this bag and we crammed it full of sawdust so that it created a structural form over which we could then apply an additional layer of wire mesh and then build out layer upon layer of cement until we had a three to four inch thickness of cement on the exterior dome. As soon as it was done, uh, we worked on the rainwater catchment system, which was composed of PVC pipings that were attached to the roof of the houses. The tubing was then connected to the upper half of the in-ground tank. At this point, the tanks are almost ready to collect water. Some of our Peace Corps volunteers that are still there, as well as some hired laborers, are finishing up the work. We obviously couldn't wait in country for two or three weeks to let the cement cure, so we did the lion's share of the work and then our partners are finishing it up. The above ground tank system was much more involved. Uh, it began with construction of a cement pad, which placed within that was a steel rebar frame. We built the, the rebar skeleton, placed it in the pad, poured the pad, let the pad harden, and then once that was cured, we were able to wrap the exterior of the rebar frame with wire mesh. And with the wire mesh in place, we were able to layer upon layer apply cement and build out the wall thickness. With the wall thickness suitably thick at this point, we were able to start work on the dome, which consisted of more 3 quarter, 3 eighths inch uh, rebar and more, tr more wire mesh, at which point we could apply a thin layer on top. And then once that's set, we're able to apply more and more layers and build the wall thickness and hence added structural integrity to the tank. And then of course, worked on the uh, rainwater collection system off of the existing tin roof so that once the tank was hardened, we're able to route water off of the roof and into the tank for storage. And then that water is accessible via tap at the bottom of the tank. We DWB UCLA are very fortunate to work in a community that's been very receptive and much of that good heartedness toward us from the very beginning is really related to Casasito's work and their establishment within the community. The community knows them, the community trusts them and the fact that Casasito decided to partner with us lended some instant credibility to EWB UCLA in the eyes of the community. Uh, BART contacted us and we knew that there was a water situation here. It was right at about the same time we found out about the water situation around here. It's just nice to see things, you know, some progress being made. One important note to make that again, this is a very large team and we at EWB UCLA do a lot of work, but this project could not be done without outside support. Namely, the pilot project was funded through the Richard and Rhoda Goldman Foundation, as well as support through EWB USA National. And our, the next phase for construction of four more systems has been, and will be fully supported through the World Water College Forum Grant uh, given to us by the Metropolitan Water District of Southern California. Moving beyond the pilot project, 
uh, we've, we've put a lot of work, I myself have been involved in this, in leading this project for several years now, and we're having some success with fundraising. It's beginning to snowball. The community is buying in, our nonprofit partners are buying in, we at EWB UCLA are buying in. Uh, I believe we have a very solid direction and a clear vision of where we'd like to go with this work. Because I feel, I feel there's a lot that we can do and we've only just gotten started.